a large volcanic eruption in Bali appears imminent with the Bureau of Meteorology warning the threat of Mount Agug erupting is high. Flights out of Denpasar and Lombok airports were grounded for three days as a tropical cyclone pushed large ash plumes into the direct path of Australian flights. Airlines have been issued a red warning about the danger of volcanic ash in the skies close to Bali. One officer was injured in Ohio after his partner accidentally shot him with a stun gun while they tried to arrest a suspect. The Uzbek immigrant accused of killing eight people by speeding a rental truck down a New York City bike path in October pleaded not guilty on Tuesday to murder and other criminal charges. North Korea has launched another missile test in its continuing ICBM development, this time landing in Japan's exclusive economic zone. As a shutdown at Ballas Airport is extended due to volcanic ash, airlines bracing for millions for dollars of lost revenue per day are scrambling to minimize damage by offering travel to other destinations and alternative transport off the island. In the US, the FCC is set to dismantle net neutrality rules that require internet providers to give consumers equal access to all content online. Curious how net neutrality works. As the UK's Prince Harry and actress Meghan Markle announced their engagement, we look back at how previous British royals announced their happy news. During an event honoring Navajo Code Talkers, US President Trump made a dig at Democratic Senator Elizabeth Warren calling her Pocahontas. Airlines have been issued a red warning about the danger of volcanic ash in the skies close to Bali. Indonesian experts are still warning of an imminent eruption, which could occur anywhere from a matter of hours to the coming days. Despite this, Denpasar Airport announced it would reopen on Wednesday afternoon, Bali time. Airport spokesman Ari Azorohim said the volcanic ash had drifted south and southeast, leaving clean space above the airport for planes to land and take off. The closures devastated thousands of travelers, who said they were missing important life events at home including graduations, the funerals of loved ones or new jobs. On Wednesday, it was estimated 120,000 travelers had been affected by the volcano. Get the latest news and updates emailed straight to your inbox. By submitting your email you are agreeing to Fairfax Media's terms and conditions and privacy policy. Some desperate to get home have taken a 13-hour bus and ferry ride to Surabaya Airport, in Indonesia's second biggest city. Many schoolers celebrating the end of their studies have also been caught up in the natural disaster. Taylor Kark from Sydney said she and partner Carl